I keep dropping these. Oh my god, they're like everywhere. I definitely feel like I need to put one of these on my lips. So I have it ready for the video. I'm gonna do something dramatic. Let's do, what color is this one? There's no colors on these. Ooh, biker babe. Yeah. There's no smell to them. It's kind of a good thing. Oh my gosh, this is really dark. Uh, it is really dark. Definitely feel, holy moly, this is really dark. <gasps> they need lip liners. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I actually am really loving this lip color now that it's on my lips and I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder. I feel like it's very vampy, very fall, and I should have worn this to begin with for my fall makeup look and I didn't. So anyways, I um, really like it. I feel like I should redo the lip part of that tutorial. Anyways, today we are gonna talk about these lip products right here. So NYX was so kind to send me a package and I have to say I'm actually really, really excited because I've never received a PR package from NYX before. And so I was just super excited that they reached out to me and they sent me their new liquid suede lipsticks. So they sent me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. They sent me 12 of them. Online I see that there's 24 colors, so it looks like I have half the line here. And I got a lot of the vampy, like really fall colors, which is perfect, let's face it. So I figured we'd make a video here today. I don't think I'm gonna swatch all of them on my lips. My intent was originally to do 12 lip swatches, but after putting this one on my lips and seeing how hard it was to apply, I just don't think my lips can handle 12 different colors, but I might swatch a couple of them on my lips, um, but I do want to swatch them on my arms so you can see exactly what they look like because sometimes in the tubes and especially in the stores under those fluorescent lights or if you're shopping online, it's a little bit hard to pick the right color. So I wanted to swatch them, show you what they look like, and let's see what the claims are. So I'm looking on the Ulta website right now. So liquid suede cream lipstick, doll your lips in plush and vibrant color, NYX Professional Makeup's liquid suede cream lipstick glides on and sets into a striking matte finish. Velvety soft and waterproof, this long-lasting lippy creates a positively polished look with every swipe. Well, I can definitely say... I'm just going to scroll through really quick and see. These actually might be new colors because I'm not seeing these colors on their website yet. So this might be a new a new line. Maybe it's like their fall collection, their fall release of these colors. So I'm not seeing them on Ulta.com yet, but I'm sure they will be there. And they're $6.99 a piece. The good thing about Ulta is a lot of times they have buy one, get one 50% off for NYX, which is so seven bucks, not too bad. I can definitely say they do dry almost instantly. I have a mirror down here that I'm going to look at. Um, almost instantly to a matte finish, which made them easy but hard to apply. Easy because it's not moving around, it's not budging, but hard because it's not moving around, it's not budging, if you know what I mean. So it just makes it a little bit hard to like, I kind of got out of the lines a little bit over here and it was really hard to fix it. Like I couldn't fix it with a Q-tip or a makeup wipe or my beauty blender, I'm gonna have to get like straight up makeup removing oil to get it off. So it's not a bad thing, but it's just kind of something to throw out there. It's definitely a matte finish. I do feel like it's a little bit on the drying side. Um, I'm not a huge fan of liquid lipsticks in general, and I should have kind of realized that, um, but I mean, it's a really pretty color. There's definitely like a golden sheen to it. Let me tell you what color this is before I continue anymore. So this is in the color Biker Babe. Um, they have like numbers and letters and then they have a name. So this one is called Biker Babe and I'm going to zoom in just a little bit so you can see. I'm sorry, it's not the best application I've ever done, but you can see it's not getting on my teeth. It's definitely a matte finish, but there is like a golden sheen to it, which is why it has that sheen. But you can see the lines of my lips. So that tells you how dry these are. Um, I definitely feel like if you wore this all day, you would dry the crap out of your lips. Let's just be honest. So... Anyways, this one is Biker Babe. I'm gonna swatch it on my arm for you so you can see. And then we can see how fast they dry too. This is so pretty. It's not a color I would typically wear, but now that it's on my lips, I'm like vampy. 
Okay, so that's Biker Babe. Let's move on to the next one. This one is called Mauve Mist. Mauve Mist. And yes, I'm using my teeth to open all of these because I painted my nails today and I don't want to mess it up. Okay, let's swatch this one. I will say, oh yeah, that looks way different swatch. I would have put that one on my lips if I would have known. I should have known by the name. It looks really like beige, like a creamy, like yellowy, orangey beige, but on the arm, that is really pretty. These seem to all have like a bit of a sheen to them. They're a matte, they're like a matte liquid lipstick, but they have a bit of a sheen to them. As far as the packaging goes, I do feel like they are a bit on the cheap side. That is because it is a drugstore product. They're not gonna spend a lot of money on luxurious packaging, but they are very like, I don't know if you can hear, they just feel like very lightweight and quote unquote cheap feeling. Um, they are really pretty though. There's like a little diamond on the tip of each of them, which is super cute. This one is in the color Modern Mauve. So the other one was called Mauve Mist. This one is Modern Mauve. So let's see. Ooh, it is a lot darker. It's really pretty though. It's definitely just like a darker version of that one. I really like that one. Maybe I'll put that one on my lips next. So there's that one. And then next one we're going to put on is... Bella. My dad would be very mad that I'm using my teeth. He always says I'm going to mess up my dental work, my braces. I'm like, I don't, I don't know if that's true. Okay. You know what? I might not have to take the plastic off of these. I might be able to just twist them because that's what I did with this one. Okay. What was this one called again? Bella. Ooh, these are a lot prettier swatched than they are in the tube. For some reason, the tubes all look, they all look weird, but swatching them, they're really pretty. Okay, next one, Exposed. If this is anything like Tarte's Exposed, I know I'm gonna love it. All right. Um, I don't think that one's gonna be good for me because it's definitely like a like the color of my skin <laughs> that's pretty okay next one is neat nude but the tube is like black neat nude huh oh wow you know what if you had darker skin um or deeper skin tone that probably would be a nude for you that's pretty okay next one is pure society this is, looks like it's going to be a purple. Oh, yep. Pretty though. Definitely a purple. Then we have Buzzkill. <laughs> that's a funny name. Buzzkill. Wow, that's like an amped up fuchsia. It's really similar to the one next to it, but there is a bit of it. Okay, sorry about that. My battery died and I had to get up and change it. Where were we? Okay, next one is New Era. This one is gonna be like a brown, I'll bet. Yep, it's definitely a brown. It's really pretty. So this one, which is called, what was that one again? True Nude, Neat Nude, has almost like a purpley undertone, whereas this one is like brown, brown, brown. Next, let's try Acme. Not acne with an N, acme with an M, like monkey. Ooh, this one's gonna be a red. Oh, perfect for fall time. Can we just appreciate how fall appropriate that is? That is beautiful, it's like a berry color. And then these two are definitely the most extreme. <laughs> so the first one is color is this? It's really hard to read. This one does not have a color on it, I don't think. Um, where's the color on these ones? Yeah, this one has no color. There's no name. The, there's a number. It looks like it's E60, but there's no actual name, so unnamed, but it is like purple. Uh, I'm going to put it up here. Oh yeah, look at that. 
I have never worn a color like that on my lips before, so maybe I need to. <laughs> and then this last one looks like it's going to be black. It's called Go Rogue. Oh, yep, it's going to be black. Oh, but it's black with like a bluish undertone. Look at that. Okay, so here's the swatches up close so you can see them a little bit better. These two I just swatched so they haven't quite dried down, but these have been swatched for a while. And you can definitely see they dry to a matte finish, but some of them do have like a sheen to them. So Biker Babe, which is what's on my lips, has like a golden sheen to it, but it is very, very pretty. This one I really, really like. I need to put that one on my lips. That one is called um, Mauve Mist. What is it called again? Mauve Mist. Um, it's definitely like a My Lips But Better. Next to it is Modern Mauve, I believe. Yep, Modern Mauve. Next to that one is Bella. That one's really pretty too. I think if I was in the store and I had known what swatches looked like, I would definitely get Modern, or sorry, Mauve Mist and Bella. Next to it is one that I probably will never wear because it just won't look good on me, but it's called Exposed. Then we have neat nude okay and then next to that one is pure society that one will be really pretty this one is a little bit too bold for me but it is really pretty it's called buzzkill and then next to that one is the brown color called new era and then next to that one is the really pretty red called me and then going back over here we have the unnamed one and then we have what's this one go rogue so really pretty colors um, they are definitely different looking swatched than they are in the tube I think the tube itself is colored it's a colored plastic so let me get one that here's one that's open so you can see like open all the way. Some of them I just twisted and left the plastic on, but you can see the plastic itself is colored. So when you're looking at it, you're not seeing the product itself, which is sometimes deceiving. So the actual products look different swatched than they are in the tube, if that makes sense. And looking at the swatches, some of them definitely have a sheen and some of them are totally matte. So like Mauve Mist looks like it's totally matte with no sheen, but then Exposed has like silver glitter in it. So I think it just kind of depends on the color. It's not something that you can kind of say all around. Let's do, this is a makeup wipe. Let's do this, the test here to see. They come off pretty easily. Um, so that's good. You can see there's some, some shimmer in some of those. All right, I'm gonna try to get it off my lips. Oh, without ruining my entire makeup. Yeah, this is really hard to get off your lips. Holy crap. I can't get this off my lips. It's been on my lips for a while now, so, and it's definitely staining my lips. This is why I knew I couldn't do 12 lip swatches. I knew it wouldn't work. Holy, um, Okay, yeah, it's messing up my entire makeup look. That's great. <laughs> I look like a clown. I'm trying to touch it up with a beauty, beauty blender. Since that was so hard to take off, I'm just going to put one more on my lips, and that's going to be the one that stays there because I can't be messing up my makeup. I got to go out after this. I got to go to the grocery store, Costco, PetSmart. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put on that mauve mist because I feel like this is going to be a color that a lot of you guys will like as well. So let's see what it looks like on the lips. Let's see. Well, that one was definitely a heck of a lot easier to put on than Biker Babe. I love this one. It has like kind of a brownish undertone, so it makes it kind of fall appropriate, but it's still really, really pretty. I feel like this is a winner. This color is a winner. So anyways, my overall thoughts are most of the colors are very wearable. They don't look like it in the tubes, so be aware of that when you're shopping, but most of them are very wearable. 
I think for the price, you're getting a pretty good product. Now, I didn't eat, I didn't test it out eating, but you guys saw me trying to wipe it off with this makeup wipe. It wasn't budging. I had to scrub. In fact, the middle of my lips is actually bleeding because I had to scrub it that hard. So if that says anything, I mean, that lets you know that it's not going anywhere. They could be fun for everyday wear. They could be fun for costumes. Halloween is coming up. I mean, there's some really fun shades in here. I think it suits all skin tones. You got your deep browns. You got your nudes that would be really good for darker skin tones. And you got your really fun bright colors. So I think the color range is great. I think the formula is good. Now, I'm not a liquid lipstick fan in general. I much prefer, like soft creams or just stick lipsticks because my lips are so dry in general that anything dries them out and liquid lipsticks especially just totally kill my lips. So I'm not a big fan of liquid lipsticks in general, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that at the very least this helped you to um, decide what colors you like the best. So I'm going to stop babbling because I'm like starving and I think I am getting hangry. So I'm going to go eat, but I hope that you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.